everyone today in this video we'll be discussing about the module 5 super important question which is regarding the recorder buffer in that you have to write just a few key points it can be asked from 10 mark questions so make sure you know this concept very well and uh, before starting make sure the like button subscribe to the channel for more just like this and let's get started so uh, what you have to act, uh, actually write is what is the record buffer and how it is used as processor element processor element means it is uh, something that processes the elements okay that is only what is called the processor element so we'll be mainly focusing on what is record buffer the concept of record buffer is central to data access you have a record buffer then only you will be able to access the data okay and record buffer acts as a bridge between the progress database and the application business logic there are two things progress database and application logic in between that it will be combining these two by using a record buffer and it is created implicitly by the progress run time environment whenever the business logic access an existing uh, database record or creates a new one the business uh, logic has two works it can either create a database record or uh, use an existing one whenever it does that it implicitly calls the progress runtime which in turn calls the record buffer okay and it can also be uh, created explicitly using certain language statements see what is record buffer is it can, it can be used to perform some operations okay that is what is uh, mainly the record buffer it can uh, store some data in that for a particular amount of time and then uh, when it is required to process it then it will be used for processing for the same implementation you will be having the different uh, language statements which it can be created from so uh, the what is the language statement that's not uh, an important concept from this point of time what is important is you know that the progress runtime and the business logic between that will be using the record buffer and so that it can be created explicitly using the certain language statements and uh, each uh, record buffer can hold a single record at a time or it can be empty so whenever it holds some record what does that mean is it will be having some data in that which will be processing processing right and uh, when uh, in what cases can it be empty it can be empty in the cases whenever we have some data which is already processed and what is already executed so it will be taken out from that and it will be used for some somewhere else right in those cases what uh, we'll be having is a empty record buffer okay so basically you have to mention these five points and after that you can uh, also mention uh, about the uh, holding of the new uh, record uh, buffer and created by the business logic for a new database uh, that's the uh, sub point in that or uh, for a record retreat from the database you can create uh, you can uh, use the record uh, created in the database or retreat from the database or it can be used to read update or uh, deleted by the application logic okay so that's all make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more like this and thank you so much watching I'll see you in the next one